use and or view at your own risk. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a desktop shortcut to open up any link or any file that the Google Chrome web browser can open. Do not simply copy the Google Chrome shortcut that was created when you installed Google Chrome and then change it because that can get problematic. That shortcut was created programmatically and it'll have a hard time differentiating between the one that the program itself created and the one that you copied and pasted on uh, pasted on the desktop. So what we want to do is just right click an empty area on the desktop, go to new, then shortcut, click that, then you want to browse to the location of Google Chrome web browser. So we'll click browse, my computer, local disk C, program files, Google, Chrome, and then select Chrome.exe. Now the .exe may not show up on your computer because you don't have file extensions showing, but you can recognize it by the icon and where it's located. So just click that select OK and you can see here the location of the item that we're going to create a shortcut for of course is Google Chrome and it's in program files Google Chrome application chrome.exe select next you can name it whatever you want let's say I like to open up YouTube in Google Chrome we can just simply type YouTube or Google Chrome YouTube click finish now if I want to go to a specific website or a specific channel in YouTube what you'll need to do is actually modify the target location go ahead and open up Google Chrome using your new shortcut and then browse to your favorite YouTube channel. Of course you can see here in the, in the address bar that this is my channel. Just click and highlight that address. You just click in the address uh, bar one time it should highlight everything. Hover over it, right click it, select copy. You can close this back down or close it all the way. Go to your newly created shortcut, right click it, select properties and in the target location go all the way to the very end pass the, the quotation put one space in and then paste that address we just copied out of the address bar now this will work fine for any web address you have to do something a little bit different and I'll show you if it's a an internal file or a diff different type of file so you can just go ahead and click apply OK. Click your newly changed shortcut and you can see it goes directly to that particular website or particular uh, YouTube channel in this case. Now you can also, go ahead and close that, you can also create a shortcut to open anything from a text file to a PDF to even a movie file or MP4 file. So let's go ahead and do that. Now you can, once you've created this standalone shortcut, you can copy that shortcut and work off of it. You just don't want to copy the one that was programmatically created when you installed Google Chrome. So go ahead and right click that, select copy, right click an empty area in the desktop, select paste. Now we'll have two, of course one of them is named copy. We'll go to our downloads folder and what I want to do is open up this picture, this PNG file. So you can see what that picture is. Close that. What you'll need to do 
in Windows Explorer is go up to the address bar, click it one time. That will give you the actual address. Right click it, or right click what's highlighted, select copy, and we're going to do the same thing we did for the web address, only we have to change a few things. So go ahead and minimize that. This is our copied shortcut. We'll right click it, select properties. Again, in the target box, we'll go all the way to the end. Now we're going to delete that web address we put in there, and we're going to replace it with the address to that file. So make sure that you're one space away from the quotation mark. Then you're going to need to type in what's known as a relative path. If this is a FTP or a file transfer protocol, then you can treat it the same way as you do any normal web address. But at any kind of internal address, meaning a file that's on your computer, even if it's a an HTML file or a website that you have stored on your computer itself, you're going to need to use what's known as a relative path. And that would be file, F-I-L-E, colon, three forward slashes, then the actual address of the file, which we've already copied. And it may or may not come out right. You'll just have to see. So we'll paste it. It did get us to our downloads folder. Now a web browser doesn't understand a backslash, just a forward slash. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to come in and change all these backslashes to forward slashes. Delete, forward slash, replace all of them. And any spaces will have to be replaced with what's known as percent encoding. Because a web browser doesn't understand what's known as white space or a space. The percent encoding or the ASCII encoding for a space is simply a percentage sign, a 2 and a 0. So percentage sign 20. So we'll add percentage sign 20. Make sure there's no spaces. Percentage sign 20 again. Make sure we close the spaces up. Now that will get us to our actual downloads folder. Need to make sure and change these backslashes to forward slashes. Need to add another forward slash. And then we can go back to our downloads folder and you'll have to copy in the file name itself. So we're just going to right click that select rename and then copy the entire file including the extension so we'll right click that copy if you don't have extension showing just go up to your organize button folder and search options view and then make sure that hide extensions for known file types is not checked okay minimize that We'll add in the actual file name itself. You can see here between the TK and the computer, there's an underscore. This is one of the reasons people that program actually add in that, that underscore, so they don't have to use the percent encoding when pointing to the file. Now, once you've got that, you just simply click Apply and OK. We can go back to our shortcut, right-click it, rename it, and this one we're going to name Google Chrome Picture. Hit the enter key. Now when we click on the shortcut it will go to that file and open it up in the Google uh, Chrome web browser. Okay, see that? Now you can do this for text files like I said, movie files, mp4 files, MP3s or anything the Google Chrome web browser can handle. 